Enjoy. We just want to give back in a very different way and just have you have fun. A couple of quick reminders. Um, you got a leaflet when you came in. On the back of the leaflet is games. We'll be having games throughout the evening and there's some fantastic prizes. There's laptops, phones, free services. Have a look at the games and see what you'd like to come up on stage to do to win. And there's a treasure hunt. We have 25 phones hidden on the grounds of 
Fisherman's Walk. You just have to ask one of us, one of the executives, for a clue and go and find the phone. It's not going to be the physical phone, it will be a piece of paper that says you're a winner. Be like this, congratulations, you're a winner, and we'll give you a phone. So ask one of the executives for a clue and go treasure hunting. Okay, well, there's that, the fun and prizes. So anyone who had a birthday gets a free Motorola Pebble. Come and see me later with your, you're a winner and you'll get your Motorola Pebble. Lots of games, lots of fun. Lots of entertainment to come up. Please enjoy. Thank you. Just a taste, more to come.
competition. So you got about to stand up, the airways go on for upcoming competition.
Can I think should we play this back? <laughs> okay, Adrian, could you turn up the music, please? Take it away, come on. <laughs> When I came here this evening, I went to get a drink for my wife, but I didn't ask what she wants to drink. I said, no, her, what do you like? As usual, something short and soft. <laughs> uh, it's been told that um, three, three big shots executives were in a jacuzzi pulling out at a business trip. And while in the jacuzzi, 
we heard the sound like a pager going off. And one of the executives, being from Japan, he opened his palm and he looked at his palm for a while and he turned to the other two in the pool and he said, Oh my, my company in Japan allows me to have a chip inserted in my palm and I get text messages and my wife just called to find out how things are going on the trip. Or she just paged me to ask me how things are going. And this is so convenient, he said. The other one, soon after, a phone was heard ringing. And the other one, an American, he said, huh, well, my company is even better. And as he said that, he put his hand to his ear like this and he started having a conversation. And he spoke for two minutes and then he took his hand and he said, oh, my family was concerned and they wanted to know how things are, so they just gave me a call. It just so happens that the third person in the pool, he was a Caribbean executive. And he started scratching his head because he was of the opinion that these two were trying to show off on him. So he was wondering, wow, what could I do to improve on this thing? So he got up out of the pool and he went to the bathroom. And when he went to the bathroom, he put some toilet paper in the back of his pants and he walked out. And when he walked past the two executives, he said, Oh my word, my company Cable and Wireless allows me to get fax. I'm getting one now. There was this couple who were going for a trip to Miami. But because of the wife's work schedule, she was letting go ahead. He, he went ahead and she remained back home. When he arrived down there, he decided to give her a little email. But because of a mistake, in the email address, the email arrived at a widow's house whose husband had just died two nights before. And the email said, oh dear, you will love it. I don't really love it, but it's really hot down here. <laughs> then she, she said, and she got upset and she said, wow. Then a little later, another email came up. See you soon, dear. I know you'll be here tomorrow. And she fainted away. Good evening, good evening, everybody. My joke is, Scott Kings come. <laughs> the other day I went to the pharmacy, and there was a lady, well, there was a long line. And I went to fill a prescription. And there was a lady in front of me. And the lady was very impatient. When she got to the counter, she said to the pharmacist, um, I would like to buy some cyanide, please. He said, but lady, you know what it is that you're asking for? She said, yes, I need to get some cyanide. He said, lady, you want to put me in trouble? She said, no, but you know, I really need to get the cyanide. He said, miss, I don't think I could help you, you know. She said, okay, hold on a minute. She went in her bag and she took out a photo of her husband and the pharmacist's wife. She gave it to him. He said, oh gosh, man, you can tell me I had a prescription. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Well, uh, there was this couple that went uh, to Jerusalem for a honeymoon. And while there, the woman died. So then uh, the funeral arrangers told the, told the husband, well, you can choose to bury her here in the Holy Land or you can take her back home. He said, well, 2,000 years ago a man died here and he rose again after, after three days. So I'm better off taking her home. Thank you. You know, very often when we're leaving home, the wife normally says, oh boy, how, how am I looking? You have to say she's looking nice and so on, but women never ever, women never ever um, tell their husband, well, you're looking good and so on and so forth. There was this old couple, and um, the guy used to like um, cowboy boots. So one day he was at a fair, and he got a real nice handcrafted um, pair of cowboy boots. So he came home, put the boots on, 
And he said to the wife, notice anything? She said, no. He went in the bathroom and he took off all his clothes and he just came out just with the boots on. He said, you notice anything now? She said, no. It's, it's, it's hanging. Yesterday it was hanging. Today it's hanging. And tomorrow it's going to be hanging. So, he said, you know why it's hanging? It's hanging because he's looking now at my new cowboy boots. She said, you should have bought a new hat. Well, after that, they should turn back, right? <laughs> but anyway, um, this one uh, is about um, this guy. He called Cable and Wireless. Uh, he wanted to make an overseas call. So he called the operator to place this call. The problem this guy had was that he stammers a lot. So he was trying to tell the operator what he wanted. So he says, oh, 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 Operator, I wanted to, 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 to make a call. To, to. She said, Hey, hey, hurry up, man. Stop wasting my time. I have a lot of people on the line. You gotta say what you wanna say and get off the line. He says, but 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 the ch trying to tell you what 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 she says, Mr. Hurry up and get off the line, you're keeping me back. He says, Look, 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 you do 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 that 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 damn rude, you know, you 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 better just take the phone and shove it up your hole. So well she gets a little angry, she went to the manager and she complained and said this this guy um insulted her and so on. So the manager called up the guy, they knew his number, and said to him, look, you were a little rude to the girl, so you have to apologize to her. But at the same time, we also let her apologize, you have to make the call for you free. So he calls back, he says, he calls for the lady, he says, you, 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 you see uh, 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 operator to tell to, 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 to sh 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 shut the phone. She says, she says, yes, yes, and she started to smile because she's feeling good now, you know. So he says, well, 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 you, 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 you know, you, 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 you could check it down now. <laughs> weekend with two with breakfast for two and stay for two and all that is Dr. Bernard Lisbeth. Yeah. The male, the female runner-up is Glenn, Mrs. Dare. Mrs. Dare. Mrs. Dare. You would win a Motorola rocker. And the male runner-up is Percy Andy. Give them all a round of applause, please.
and uh, give me a winner. Roger? All right, now Roger has a male winner and Mrs. Annie has a female winner. I'm going to collect your prizes. We have a Motorola Razor as the grand prize for the female. And we have, oh sorry, we have a Motorola Riser for the female and the same prize for the male. And we're all set now. We're going to start with Sammy. Sammy, take it away.
himself, borrow bicycle, show him off for girls, now he funny belly, sprawl out in the park, yeah, 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 Jeb and fall and broke his foot somewhere down west far, yeah, 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 Jevon for a rocky foot, somewhere don't respond. Okay, now while I found the words to my favorite song on Google. Okay, yeah. now while I stand to yeah. I know this song, I love this song. It's my favorite song. And uh, I will start this song. <laughs> and it goes something like this. That's trees of green. Red roses to I see them blue for me and you. I'm a thing to myself. What a wonderful girl. Mm -hmm. I see skies of blue, but looking black. I'm not looking forward. I've been looking back. I love it to myself. I love in this lime. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> 
Gentlemen, I think it's time to change the tempo a little bit, you know, maybe we could change the language too. Okay, feel free to join in, okay? It's a pity we don't have any instruments, but uh, we got to start. Parabala la bamba, parabala la bamba, se necesita una poca de gracia, una poca de gracia por mi partida, y arriba, arriba. Ayeriba, ayeriba, poti sere, poti sere, poti sere. Bamba, 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 bamba. Yo no soy marinero, yo no soy marinero, soy capitán, soy capitán, soy capitán. Bamba, 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 ole, la 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 bamba, adios. Calypso in rage, aha, Calypso in rage, aha, Calypso in rage, Ashley's no on this singing stage. Is everybody happy? Yeah. Uh huh. Is everybody all right? Yeah. Cable one, let's have a good time tonight. Yeah. And I want something too. Yeah. 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 Yes, this is the last competition. We're gonna wrap up this thing with uh, something that will send us home, send us home our high spirit.
Yeah, 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 yeah. next week. But we will give it to a worthy cause. And I'd like to thank all of you for your support. Ooh, yeah. Thank you for sharing in this wonderful evening with us. Because you believe in us, we believe in you. And the winner of the first door prize is the holder of ticket number 488. Cuatro ocho ocho for our Spanish speaking guests. Cuatro ocho ocho. In Francais, quatre. Wheat. Wheat. 488. This is Ellie Brown. Right. Another four, another cuatro. Nueve, nueve, nuevo, nueve, nueve, and zero. Four, nine, zero. Anybody? Is, is this the anniversary of this one, Mrs. Slack? No? Congratulations, nonetheless. We have a winner in Mrs. Slack. She is the winner of the second door prize. We have space for 200 persons. Thank you very much for joining, joining us. We promise to do this annually. We've actually outdone ourselves because we missed last year. And so we hope that we won't carry it too. Then perhaps, but certainly we would want to have you come back every time and any time we invite you to. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence tonight. If I high, high, love will take full flight. Live today.